Hi Leo, this is your horoscope for February 2019. Thanks for joining me. On the 4th of February, we've got a new moon in Aquarius and that happens in your 7th house of relationships. I've made a separate video on this. It's a new moon which really allows you to download information which serves you and which allows you to be of service to other people. Because it happens in your 7th house of relationships, it's going to give you great insights into how you can improve your relationships and how you can be better at maintaining long-term permanent relationships. So if you're someone who, you know, whose longest relationship has been three months and you just can't figure out why you can't make something last longer, you're really going to get info from the universe that, that, that simply clarifies that for you and says, this is why. So pay a little bit of attention on the 4th. Check out that video on the new moon. I go into a lot more detail. Also on the 4th, Venus, the planet of love and beauty, moves into Capricorn in your 6th house. So it's almost like love is something that comes up on your radar and that you want to work on. Saturn and Pluto are also in that sixth house. So you're really going to think about and want to make changes to your relationship status. If you look at it and if it feels lacking and you're getting these ideas in, like if you're in a relationship where you're totally unappreciated and you've been in it for 10 years, you're going to be like, wow, I do everything here and I didn't realize. So I'm going to make some changes as a result. Or if you haven't been able to uh, start a relationship or maintain a relationship, you're going to realize why that is and then work on making the changes so that you're happier in that aspect of your life. In Chinese astrology, the fifth is the new year of the pig, which is abundance. So if you follow Chinese astrology, it's a good sign for us. Apparently, it's going to bring wealth and abundance into our lives this year. On the 10th of February, we have got uh, the communication planet moving into Pisces in your 8th house. Now, Pisces is the way you think and communicate. In Mercury is the planet of communication and the way you think and communicate. Pisces is a water sign and it's very much focused on spirituality and abstract thinking. You've also got Neptune and Chiron sitting in that eighth house of you in connection to other people. So again, very much unlike you, you now start to be able to spiritually delve into what other people are feeling, what other people are sensing, and you get a much greater understanding of what makes other people tick and how you can influence them and how you can make people happy or how you can motivate people or how you can get people to do what you want or um, how to you really understand the human experience through other people's eyes through um, a lens that's not yours and your perspective on love and relationships and romance completely changes. So you have like an enlightened moment here when it comes to your love life in February and you get a much greater understanding of other people and that's why you'll be able to have better relationships in future or to pep up the existing relationship you're in. On the 13th of Feb, Uranus, the planet of rebellion and Mars, the male principle of drive and desire, they're both at 29 degrees in Aries on the very top of your chart in the ninth house of um, higher realms and education and discovery. Whenever anything is at 1 or 29 degrees in the astrology, each house has 30 degrees. So when they're at those angles, they're sitting on the cusp and they're even more powerful. So Mars and Uranus is really an unstoppable force. It's like, I want, I don't care what other people think, I'm doing it, I'm going. 29, though, turns into 11. 2 and 9 is 11, which is the master number of service. So you're really galloping off into the higher realms 
to gather more information of how you can be of service to other people which then again has a fabulous effect on your relationships and all the energy is in that third quadrant which is about relationships official relationships and relationships on an academic higher level spiritual level intellectual level so you're really learning about what it means how you come across to other people and you really get a clear image of yourself so leo this is your enlightenment month you really are able to see yourself as you are you can take responsibility for you are for who you are if you like something keep it if you don't like it you can get rid of the behavior and change it and that's like 99 percent of the battle won because you really get to understand yourself and that explains why you get the results and relationships that you've been getting and that applies to um, career relationships as well and any uh, family relationships any kind of relationship on the 14th on Valentine's Day Mars the male principle goes into Taurus in your 10th house of Korea so you're going to become very sensual uh, not about other people though funnily enough you're going to want to again yeah work at making your relationship better work on being reliable and sensual and loving so it's almost like it's almost like you suffer with a little bit of low self-esteem here leo because you're so you're you're scrutinizing yourself and you're looking at yourself make sure you don't fall into the trap of oh i'm so selfish or oh i'm such a um, non-present partner or I'm not good enough da, da, da. praise yourself for looking at your relationships working to make yourself better and to make your relationships better and give yourself a pat on the back Mars stays in Taurus for the rest of the month so you're going to really be able to express and experience wonderful intimacy in your love life on the 19th we've got a full moon in Virgo which is also a super moon super moon is when the moon is closer to the earth than usual it looks bigger and it affects us more it's in your second house of money and now from one of your pers uh, from one of your career relationships you start to get insights and information which you can twist and turn to um, alter into an additional income so someone in your current job says something in passing or a colleague of yours mentions an idea or um, you see someone working on something and something goes off in your own mind and you think well I could do it like this from the 19th of February until the end of the month keep your eyes and ears open because you're going to download an idea which will really help you to come up with a specific meaning and you can implement that meaning and use it to make more money so whether it's doing something on the side or changing your daily routine changing your job maybe the idea is wow I'm totally overqualified and I'm too good for this job I needed to be promoted two years ago so I'm gonna make a lateral jump and I'm gonna apply for different jobs elsewhere whichever way this turns out from the 19th of February until the 28th of Feb expect more money if there's not more money or a promotion coming in you've got to take the initiative and make changes there yourself because the miracle is meant to arrive and the miracle is you having more prosper prosperity and abundance in your life from the 19th onwards so that's what I got for you in February I hope it gives you an idea of what you'll be working with if you'd like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregbscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. If you like this video, please share it on your social media. Hit the subscribe button and I'll speak to you next month.